Welcome to the All About Audiology podcast, the podcast that's, well, all about audiology. I'm your host, Dr. Lilak Saperstein, an audiologist passionate about the field of audiology and how there is this intersection between communication and medicine and technology, but also phonology and speech production and linguistics. And then you have neuroscience and, of course, music. It all fits together. And we're going to explore a bunch of topics about how hearing works and how it affects us every single day in all different ways. What information do we need to know about audiology in order to make empowered decisions? On the podcast, we're going to discuss topics like hearing aids, cochlear implants, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, and we'll talk about tubes, sometimes called grommets, sign language and deaf education, and even what to expect at your appointment at your audiologist. Whether you're a parent to a child with a hearing loss, a teacher, or a therapist, or maybe you're trying to convince your mom to get a hearing test, or maybe you yourself went to an audiologist and now you're interested in learning more about audiology, this is the podcast for you. Every week we'll be discussing another topic, and every other week, episodes that are all about you. I'll be answering listener questions and sharing your comments and feedback. That way, this is an interactive process and not just me lecturing into the void. I want to hear from you and have you be a part of this podcast along with me. In today's episode, I want to give you an overview about audiology and tell you what are the different things that audiologists do, not just doing hearing tests, which is something that audiologists definitely do, but we also do a lot more things. Audiologists are experts of the eighth cranial nerve. We have in our head 12 cranial nerves, and each of these go to different parts of our face and our head, like the optic nerve for vision, the olfactory nerve for our sense of smell. And we have all these different nerves, not only sensory nerves, but also ones that control the motor movement, like for muscles around your eye and all the different facial muscles. These are controlling the muscles we use to chew and smile and wiggle your nose. So from these 12 cranial nerves, number eight is called the vestibulocochlear nerve. It's the auditory nerve, and it's the one connected to your inner ear. It's bringing the information from the cochlea up to the brain and also from the other parts of the inner ear that control for balance. So audiologists are experts of this eighth nerve, and we study all the different parts of the auditory pathway and learn about all the things that need to go right for our hearing to work. We also study what happens when there's a breakdown in any of the different parts of the ear, what kind of issues there might be, and how that's affecting the person's experience. Audiologists do hearing tests and other diagnostic tests for different parts of the ear. We discuss treatment and rehabilitation, and we also provide a lot of counseling. Counseling is a very important part of the audiologist's job because it is not only informing people and explaining to them what's going on and what they need to know about what's happening with their hearing or their balance, but it's also taking into account how those problems are affecting each individual patient and each person that they see. So for one person, the experience of a certain kind of hearing loss might be that they are isolated and that it's really hard for them to communicate in their world, while for another person, the exact same hearing loss might not affect them to such a degree. It really depends on their lifestyle, their family structure, if they're working. When I'm explaining to someone what's going on with their hearing, what are the different test results mean, what are their options, the person is getting a sense that they can understand what's happening to them and make really good, well-informed decisions coming from a place of empowerment and learning to be their own self-advocate when they know what's going on. Audiologists can work in all different settings. Some audiologists have a private practice where they provide testing and treatment, rehabilitation and counseling services directly with patients. Some work with ENTs and have a combined office. Some work in hospitals dealing with more medical cases and also in cochlear implant centers. Audiologists can also work in industry. That means they're working with cochlear implant companies or hearing aid companies and working with the manufacturers so that they're getting input from the audiologist's perspective about the patient, what they're going to need, making sure that the software is easy to use and has all the different features that an audiologist would need in order to fit those devices in the office. Another place where audiologists can work is in a school. Educational audiology is very close to my heart. It's where I started off my career, 
the role of the educational audiologist is to focus on how hearing is impacting the student's ability and readiness to learn. I worked in the school for the deaf where I was in charge of all the students' devices and I performed all the testing, the yearly testing that was needed for the students and a lot of troubleshooting, communicating with parents and with their medical home, either their doctor's office or their hospital where they were getting their mapping for their cochlear implants. So audiologists can work in lots of different places and work with people of all ages, babies, children, adults, and the elderly. Story time. Every time I tell a new person, hey, what do you do? And I say, I'm an audiologist. Almost always they say, a cardiologist or a radiologist? And I just find this so fitting to what it is that I do because I help people understand that, you know, it's not just the hearing. It's also our context. The way that we understand what's being said to us really depends on a lot of different factors, and hearing is one piece of that puzzle. So what we have is actually two kinds of processing. The way that we process what we hear is either top-down or bottom-up. And what this means is that we're either using the message from the top-down, so we know what the context is, we know what everyone's talking about, and we're able to fill in what's missing, or we're using bottom-up processing, which is we're hearing every little piece of the word, every sound in the message, stitching them together, and then making sense of them going up. And the great thing about having both top-down and bottom-up processing is that you're getting redundancy. You're getting the message twice, really. You're processing it in different ways. And that way, you're able to get a complete message even when you're missing pieces. It happens to all of us when you're in a really loud environment, like in a very noisy or crowded restaurant, or when you're very far away from the speaker, they're talking to you from another room, then that's where our knowledge of language and our familiarity with that person really helps us out to fill in what's going on. The other thing people tell me a lot when they hear that I'm an audiologist, if they heard me properly, then they'll say, what? And let me tell you, I don't fall for that one anymore. This is usually the corny dad type, but they always seem to think it's hysterical. Thank you so much for joining me for this first episode of the All About Audiology podcast. I look forward to creating these for you and with you. I hope you learned something today, and I invite you to let me know what it was. What's something you didn't know about audiology before, or something you'd like to know about in the future? Send me a DM on Instagram at All About Audiology Podcast, or come and visit the website, and you can always contact me through there allaboutaudiology.com. Your question or comment just might show up in our next episode, which is going to be all about you and your comments and your experience with audiology. I'm Dr. Lila Saperstein, and you've been listening to All About Audiology.